This time, China planned to invest 72 billion yuan to build a Class 1 canal with a length of 135 kilometers. Large ships of 5,000 tons can pass through it at will. So why is China building this new canal? Let's take a closer look in this video. Canals are indispensable man-made roads for shipping. Having canals can reduce shipping costs, shorten transportation distances, and benefit tens of thousands of people. The only domestic canal we know is the Beijing to Hangzhou Grand Canal. The canal we are going to introduce to you today is the Pinglu Canal in Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. It is also the first Grand Canal connecting rivers and seas after the founding of New China. It can not only improve the development of shipping, but also improve the ecological environment along the way, which is of great significance. Although the construction of the Pinglu Canal has many benefits, some people still feel puzzled. Guangxi is a coastal province. It is not difficult to go to sea. There are many rivers in the province. Why should China spend more than 72 billion to build a canal? The Pinglu Canal begins at the mouth of the Pingtang River in Hangzhou City, Nanning, Guangxi, and enters the Bibu Gulf through Qinzhou along the Qinjiang River. The word Pinglu is taken from Luwu Town, Qinzhou City, the mouth of the Pingtang River the main stream of the Xijiang River in Nanning, Guangxi, and the entrance of the main stream of the Qin River. Despite its name, the Pinglu Canal actually includes not only the mouth of the Pingtang River to Luwu Town, but also the main stream of the Qinjiang River going south to Qinzhou Port in the Bibu Gulf. There are a total of about 135 kilometers of waterway channels along the entire line, of which about 6.5 kilometers are excavated for the cross ridge section of the watershed. On March 17, 2022, the Pinglu Canal project was officially approved. The construction content includes waterway engineering, shipping hub engineering, cross river facility engineering along the line and supporting engineering, which can navigate 5,000 tons ships. The estimated total investment of the project is 72.73 billion yuan, of which the static investment is 70.46 billion yuan, and the construction period is 54 months. The project will provide water security for approximately 650,000 mu of irrigation areas along the line and it is expected to add 835.7 hectares of cultivated land, which will improve the flood control capacity of towns along the line and effectively alleviate the pressure of regional flood control. After the completion and operation of the Pinglu Canal, goods from southwest China will go out to sea through the Pinglu Canal, which will shorten the voyage to the sea by more than 560 kilometers compared with going through Guangzhou. According to calculations, the project will generate huge economic benefits, saving more than 5.2 billion yuan in transportation costs for areas along the western New Land Sea Corridor every year. Focusing on Nanning and Qinzhou, the Pinglu Canal project will jointly develop cities such as Liuzhou, Guigang, Fangchenggang, Laibin, Wuzhou, and Beihai. The new land sea corridor radiates north to Sichuan, Chongqing, Guizhou, Hunan, Shangxi, Gansu, Qinghai, and other places, which will effectively promote the development of the western region in the new era and promote coordinated regional development. The amount of earth and stone excavation for this project will be about 329 million cubic meters. As of April 12, an image investment of about 8.5 billion yuan has been completed, and nearly 30 million cubic meters of earth and stone excavation have been completed. Moreover, in the first quarter of this year, some work on this project has been completed ahead of schedule and a model has begun to take shape. 
We believe that the subsequent work will be very smooth. It is estimated that this year, the project image investment for the Pinglu Canal will reach 18 billion yuan, and the completed earthwork excavation will exceed 100 million cubic meters. If the Pinglu Canal is built, its rivers will be directly connected to the sea, which can greatly reduce the shipping distance and reduce the transportation pressure in Guangxi province. After the completion of the Pinglu Canal, Guangxi water transportation no longer needs to go around the Pearl River, which not only greatly shortens the shipping distance, but also reduces the transportation pressure on the Xijiang River and the Pearl River. Another point is that Guangxi is a tourist attraction. With the Pinglu Canal, its tourism industry will go to a higher level, because the economic development is not a single one, but a multifaceted linkage. The scenic spots along the canal will be gradually built, and the water transportation will be convenient. It also brings more tourists. In addition, the construction of canals can achieve the effect of both economic development and ecological protection. There is a traditional view that rapid economic development must be at the expense of the environment. But canals can have both. The Pinglu Canal can provide farmland irrigation, water supply, flood control, and ecological improvement. The Pinglu Canal will strive to become a world-class ecological canal, not only to promote economic growth, but also to promote the development of biodiversity along the river. They will reserve a one-kilometer-wide area along the canal to create an ecological corridor, and the cross-ridge section of the canal will leave passages for animals, so that the canal can be integrated with nature and become a highly ornamental landscape pattern. The Pinglu Canal will also refer to the model of the existing water conservancy hub, set aside passages for migratory fish, and build an ecological observation station to monitor and manage the water quality of the canal, the surrounding ecology, and the growth of animals and plants in the river. Moreover, the soil dug out for the construction of the canal will not be wasted. They can backfill the cultivated land along the coast and promote the development of surrounding agriculture. For China's overall development, it has even greater strategic significance. Canals with relatively large spans have played a very important role in Chinese history. The construction of the Pinglu Canal can also better drive local development, and from a broad regional point of view, it has strategic significance. Although at present, it is obvious that Guangxi province will benefit the most after the completion of the project, but in fact, the success that can be achieved after the construction of this canal can also drive the common progress of its surrounding provinces, especially for the entire southwestern region of China. The construction of the canal can currently promote the transportation of the entire region and at the same time, it can gradually form a stable military and political development based on the economy. At present, although the southwest region of Guangxi province is not the focus of China's economic development, especially the lack of economic trade with first-tier cities, in fact, Guangxi province will improve the utilization rate after the construction of the canal in the future, which is very likely to make the import trade gradually transfer to this part. At that time, the surrounding Guizhou and Yunnan provinces will also get a certain economic boost. If the development is good, the entire western region can rely on the development of Guangxi port and form a new economic development pattern centered on it. So from these aspects, the construction of this canal in Guangxi province is definitely a super project. Not only will its construction bring great benefits to the entire region and even China in essence, but it is also of great significance in the history of canal practice of. Thank you for watching.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.